welcome back to the bargain district with me Monique and today I have a haul for you so yesterday I went to the best factory outlet in my opinion which is Woodbury Common in upstate New York and it is one of my favorite places to go shopping because they always have the best best stuff and the best deals and they have all the high-end designers you can think of they have like almost everything except for Chanel and Louis Vuitton because of course they would never be in an outlet store so um, I went there with my husband and my two friends and we spent I think around nine hours there we were actually planning to go eat at this uh, um, supermarket slash Japanese restaurant food court uh, type of thing called Mitsua in New Jersey that's also one of like my favorite places to go when I'm on the way to uh, Woodbury but we were we finished like quite late it was like like 7 30 ish almost 8 and that place actually closes at 9 so we're like huh, why not we just stay here till you know the outlet closes at 9 so we ended up staying there till they're closing so I didn't really find a lot of things this time um, sorry that this haul is gonna be a long haul even though it I don't have that many stuff I just have a lot of, to tell you um, my husband ended up shopping more than I do which is totally fine because I do shop on a daily basis and I decided that I just want to like um, buy things that I really like and invest on like things that um, good quality and I really really like and I really need because I'm trying to reduce um, having so much and hoarding so much stuff so I'm trying to get rid of things that I don't really love like you know I decide to like if I love it I'll keep it if I just like it and if it's okay I'll let it go so I did really find a lot of things that I was looking for I mean I went to Valentino and hoping that I would find those studded uh, shoes and which I found last Christmas uh, around Christmas but I didn't find this time and the deal was not that great because maybe because you know it wasn't like anything special going on so, um, but I did spend a lot, a lot of time in Balenciaga. I even like went back there for the second time to get more stuff. And um, unfortunately, I didn't spend enough time in Marnie because it was closing. So I, I mean, there was so much good stuff there. I mean, I'm in love with all of their patterns, but I feel like I needed more time to decide even, you know, before plunging in and and um, and uh, biting the bullet to buy a Marnie top it is so hot I'm sorry if I keep touching my hair I'm like literally sweating but I don't really want to turn on the fan because it will be um, noisy so let's just move on to Balenciaga uh, they just give you this uh, plain black bag I don't know why they can invest on like a shopping bag so the first trip that I went there I decided on two items which are the uh, dress and um, the fat the tuxedo shorts uh, the black tuxedo shorts so I decided that I just want to do uh, something simple something that I will keep forever and um, something that I really really love and classic I'm trying to move on to like a more modern look instead of just being like the classic uh, look and looking like older than I am I'm trying to um, look younger that's why I wanted to get like uh, flats that are edgier than what I would normally wear so the first item is this really cute tuxedo shorts it has this detailing on the back like with the pockets um, this is very versatile um, item because it would definitely go with everything and this will make you look slimmer than you are which I would really really need and and this one I don't think this is silk because it kind of feels like acetate or poly or something like that okay so 70% rayon and 20% wool that's what it is it's great it's a great length it's a perfect length that you don't you know I, I wouldn't look too hoochie but also still um, cute all right so this was originally 375 
and then marked down to 179 and then it was just like 70% off that which is dirt cheap for a Balenciaga shorts in my opinion so that's the first thing and the next item is a dress that I really love I don't really have a black dress because most of the time I'm drawn to pattern or floral and things like that so I probably have like one or two uh, black dresses and I saw this one this is from um, their silk Balenciaga silk line or if that's even a line but this is just a simple v-neck it's a deep v but it's not like too too revealing because you could like maybe uh, wear like um, what do you call that like a bandeau or like a, a nicer bra with it so it's just like very flowy silky gives you great great shape at the waist it I mean it makes you really 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 slim I'm gonna like stand and go further so that you can see so it is a little bit um, a little bit long uh, it goes over the knee or maybe because I'm short or is, is it supposed to just go on your knee but for me it's like over my knee and this goes at my waist and it's just very flattering and I feel like I can wear this forever and I can keep this forever it has a little bit of like a see-through detailing on the neckline and also the shoulder I don't know if you can see that because of the light so it's just very simple and very classy. Let's put that over there. And then I went to YSL and I was like, um, I of course I was looking for the RD ring because that's like one of my uh, one of the things that's on my list every time I go to Woodbury. And the only thing that they have, I, I went to a silver one and they had like a silver gunmetal uh, color. But uh, the RD ring that they have was like black uh the the what do you call that the stone was black and i don't really like that uh i mean the, the arty shape I, I don't think it looks really um flattering on me when it's black but i did purchase the one that is um similar to the one that i had but also in gunmetal and it was also black because for some reason that's the only thing that they have and looks like this i think i can deal with this being black as opposed to the uh, you know the original art ring because I think this looks just slightly more flattering on me so I got the same ring that I have which was in blue and gold but now I have it in gunmetal and black and I love it so much this is slightly um, bigger than the one that I have but this is size 6 the one that I have was size 5 and it was very snug and this one just fits comfortably love it so, um, and then I went back to Balenciaga to buy the um, flats that I was looking at. I, I went everywhere. I went to Valentino, I went to Oscar, I went to Reed Krakow to look for, for, for flats. I want flats with straps, you know, like, like something that is just simple with, with like thicker straps. But uh, it wasn't my luck. The one that they had at Reed Krakow was like, even though it was like five and a half size it was still very roomy on me because they run really big so I decided okay let's just go back to Balenciaga I saw this uh, flats that I you know sandals I really like and let's just do that so this is the shoe box and comes with like tissue paper and everything of course and these are the pair of flats that I decided I was confused between this or another style that was like a crisscross but it was like black or red. Um, the black didn't really good look good on me because the straps are so thick, which I was looking for. But it actually made my calves or my my legs look so white. It looks like that. So this one is kind of like a peachy salmon nude color, and it makes me look slimmer. So here's the sandals and size 36. It fits through to size. I am size six. So I really really like it because it's just different and it's not it's like it's very minimalist it's very modern but also not too edgy and it comes with this like cute detailing on this but it actually doesn't open so what you do is just you just slip your uh, foot and then you can just like pull this elastic 
to fit. Okay, so those are my sandals and I really love it. So I'm really satisfied with my trip because I got, I don't, ha I, I didn't get a lot of things, but I got things that I really, really like, except, and when I was in Balenciaga, I noticed that they put new stuff, like, I mean, not new, like 2013 collection, but I, they fit, like, they put new stuff on the rack for that day so I saw this dress I wanted it in black but it was like too big on me the black one and so I got the seafoam green one I'm just gonna put it on the hanger so you can see it is a little bit wrinkled because it's from the bag so sorry but it's just like a simple um, simple shift dress it has sleeves and it's just like in the seafoam green it looks like it's nothing from the front that's what I like about it that is so versatile and like it has this design in the back so you this kind of snaps in the back and there's like a like a what do you call this like a, a string that you just tie so it looks really good on and it's a great um, it's a great um, it's a great dress for summer because it's silk and it's very very airy and also what's best about it is like the the price of it is just too insane this dress is originally more than a thousand almost like a thousand and a hundred but it was on sale for two hundred and seventy percent off that so that was like the best deal of this the day for me um, this dress was only like sixty dollars I mean a Balenciaga dress in perfect condition that fits me and looks great so this black one was um, I think around 160 but this one is only a fraction of the price so I had to throw in that one. Oh, and the shoes were around I don't remember but it was like 320 3, 330 30% off that so it's like around 270 or something like that so yeah and that's it for my haul um thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day and i'll see you for the next one bye